Gentleman thinker. Philosophical concepts explained in brief in a posh English accent. Possible worlds. Most people believe that the world might have been different. If the meteor that spelled the end for the dinosaurs had not struck, we might not be here now. If Henry V had been killed by the French at Agincourt, British history could have been radically altered. If your parents had never met, the world would have been different for not having you in it. We can describe lots of ways the world might have been. Lots of possible worlds. These stand in contrast to the way the world really is, which we call the actual world. Possible worlds come in very handy for explaining the truth of modal statements. Any statement of the form, it is possible that, or it is necessary that, is a modal statement. To say something like, Henry might have lost at Agincourt, is to say that in one or more possible worlds, Henry lost at Agincourt. To say it is necessary that two and two make four is to say that in every possible world, two twos are four. Whilst the role of possible worlds in explaining modal statements is generally acknowledged, the question that arises from this is, just what the heck is a possible world? Some philosophers say they are merely imaginary. Others maintain that they really exist. If you'd like to know more about modal realism, as that view is called, I know a chap who made a rather stellar video about it. Subscribe to Philosophy Tube for more from the gentleman thinker. Till then, cheerio, old chap!